Hello guys, welcome to the 10th episode of Tech Normal and today I'm gonna review you about the latest AMD RX Vega which got its spec leak a few days ago. So without wasting any time, let's start. AMD RX Vega specs got leaked a few days ago and is proved to be a shy monster. There was a new Direct Rendering Manager DRM update for Linux pushed out yesterday, with AMD sliding in some major Vega feature support into the open source aka OS. We now know that AMD have some interesting things planned for Vega including GPU sensors, partial resident features, network visualization non-contiguous VRAM mapping and more, but it's internal specs of Vega 10 that we are all here for. So without wasting any time and getting your excitement meter up too much, please take some of the salt and throw it over your shoulder. Vega 10 will supposedly rock 64 next-gen compute units, each with 64 GCN Steam processors, with a total of 4096 next-gen GCN Steam processors in 4 divisions, each with a single shader engine. Every 1024 stream processor shader engine has two asynchronous compute units, one in the back end and four texture blocks. Inside of each texture block there are 16 texture mapping units, providing a total 256 TMUs. While Vega has the ability of supporting 8 independent workloads simultaneously with Vega 10 clocked at 1.5 GHz, we could expect a monstrous 12.5 TFLOPs of FP32 compute performance and the high speed 8GB of HBM2 with what I think will the start of the show in high bandwidth cache HBC. AMD could have one of the fastest graphic cards on the market with its Radeon RX Vega. But I know you are thinking that there are so many stories on RX Vega that how its performance won't even match up to GTX 1080. Remember that I have also said that AMD will have a lineup of Radian RX Vega graphic cards, a family of RX Vega from $399 to $1000. I think that we are seeing here with the card in this leak from Linux is the faster GTX 1080 Ti competitor in Radian RX Vega form. There should be RX Vega cards that will compete with each of Nvidia's GeForce cards in GTX 10 series. While the refreshed Radeon RX 500 series will cover everything up to GTX 1060 from NVIDIA. Everything beyond GTX 1070 is what RX Vega will compete with. Expect AMD to launch a lower end RX Vega with 4 GB HBM2, something that I think will compete with GTX 1070 graphics card. With the most stream processors and fastest HBM2 but it's need to hit a damn good point price in order to pull people away. As we already know with a cut down RX Vega with 4GB or 8GB of HBM2 will duke it out with the GTX 1080 so AMD could then pounce on the 1080 Ti with a much faster AMD Radeon high graphics card. So the high goodness inside of Vega, expect it to the card choice for AMD fans and free sync owners, even gamers who have recently purchased a Ryzen CPU will be more inclined to build a full red AMD system. If Radeon RX Vega is worthy enough and can push 1440p at 120fps plus and 4K to 60fps without a problem. And products from NVIDIA from like GTX 1070 right up to the GTX 1080 Ti and even the new Titan XP will defeat will get defeated by this AMD RX Vega with a full Vega 10 GPU and AMD 16 GB HBM2 dual full Vega 10 GPU is zero. I don't think any GPU will stand against this one. So guys this was my today's video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel. I know you are thinking about the song uh, playing 
playing in the background well it matched for this review the much because this AMD Radeon RX Vega is a true monster so guys thanks for watching subscribe my channel bye bye